In this video, we are going to talk about how to compute for the future value of simple ordinary annuity. So when we say simple ordinary annuity, it is an annuity where the payment interval is the same as the interest period which payment are made at the end of each payment interval. And to find the future value of the simple ordinary annuity, we are going to use the formula F equals R multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 all over J, where F, that is the future value, R, that is the regular periodic payment, J, it is the interest rate per conversion period, and to find the value of J, we are going to use I raised to M over M, where I raised to M, that is the annual rate, M is the number of conversion periods in a year, N, that is the total number of conversion periods where N is equal to M times T, and T, that is the time or term of an annuity. So this is the formula that we need to remember in order for us to solve for the future value of simple ordinary annuity. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, Lucas saved 5,000 pesos at the end of every six months in an educational plan earn 6% per year compounded semi-annually. What is the amount at the end of 18 years? As you can see, the given example is an example of ordinary annuity because the payment interval is the same as the interest period that is semi-annually or 6 months. And to find the total amount at the end of 18 years, let us use the formula F equals R times the quantity of 1 plus j raised to n minus 1 all over j, where r, that is 5,000 pesos, then annual rate, that is 6%, or 0 0.06. m, that is semi-annually, that means m is 2, and then time, that is 18 years. Let us find first the value of J. To find the value of J, let us use I raised to M over M. I raised to M, that is 0 0.06. And M, that is 2. 0 0.06 divided by 2, that is 0 0.03. And this will be the value of J. And let us find the value of N. That is M multiplied by time. M that is 2 multiplied by time that is 18. 2 times 18 that is 36. And this will be the value of N. And let us substitute this one to the given formula. Periodic payment that is 5,000 pesos. Multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus J that is 0 0.03. Raised to n, that is 36 minus 1 all over 0 0.03. So let us add this one. Let us write 5,000. Let's have 1 plus 0 0.03, that is 1.03. Raised to 36 minus 1 over 0 0.03. And then, let us raise 1.03 by 36. So, let us write first 5,000. Let's have 1.03 raised to 36. That is 2.898278328. Then, minus 1 all over 0 0.03. And then, let us subtract this one. Let's have 5,000 multiply by 1.89827838 divide by 0 0.03. And let us divide this number. So let us have 5,000 multiply by, if you are going to divide this one, we are going to have 63.275. 94427 and let's multiply 
let's have 316,379.7213. Or we can write our answer as 316,379.72. So this will be the amount at the end of 18 years. And this will be our answer. On example number two, in order to save for her high school graduation, Marie decided to save 200 pesos at the end of each month. If the bank pays 12% compounded monthly, how much will her money at the end of six years? Since the payment is being made at the end of each month and the periodic payment and interest period are the same, that is monthly, therefore we can say that this problem is an example of simple ordinary annuity. And to find the total amount of money at the end of six years, let us use the formula F equals R multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 all over J. And R, that is 200 pesos. Annual rate, that is 12%. And let us write in decimal, that is 0 0.12. And then, frequency of conversion, that is monthly, that means M is 12, and then time is 6 years. So let us find first the value of J. To find the value of J, let us use I raised to M over M, where I raised to M, that is 0 0.12, and then M, that is 12. Therefore, the value of J, that is 0 0.01. And this will be the value of J. Then let us find the value of N. That is M times T. M that is 12. And then time that is 6. 12 multiplied by 6 that is 72. And this will be the value of N. And let us substitute this one to the given formula. Periodic payment that is 200. Multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus J. That is 0 0.01 raised to n, that is 72, minus 1 over 0 0.01. Let us add this one. Let us rewrite 200. Let's have 1 plus 0 0.01, that is 1.01 .01, raised to 72, minus 1 over 0 0.01. And then, let us raise 1.01 .01 by 72. Let us write first 200. Let's have 1.01 .01 raised to 72. That is 2.04709931.2. Then minus 1 over 0 0.01. Then let us subtract. Let us have 200. Then if you are going to subtract this one, we are going to have 1.01. 0.4709931.2 over 0 0.01. And then let us divide. If you are going to divide this one, we are going to have, let's write 200 first. That is 104.7099312. And let's multiply this one. And we are going to have 20,941.98624 or we can write our answer as 20,941.99 so this will be the amount of money at the end of 6 years and this will be our answer on our last example if you pay 50 pesos at the end of each month for 40 years account that will pay interest at 9% compounded monthly, how much money do you have after 40 years? Since the payment is being made at the end of each month and the payment interval is the same as the interest period that is monthly, therefore the given problem is an example of simple ordinary annuity. To find the total amount of money after 40 years, let us use the formula F equals R multiply by the quantity of 1 plus j raised to n minus 1 all over j. 
where R, that is the periodic payment, that is 50 pesos. Annual rate, that is 9%. Or we can write as 0 0.09. And then frequency of conversion, that is monthly, that is 12. Then time, that is 40 years. So let us find first the value of J. That is I raised to M over M. I raised to M, that is 0 0.09 over M, that is 12. 0 0.09 divided by 12, that is 0 0.0075. And this will be the value of J. And to find the value of N, let us have M times T. M, that is 12. And then T, that is 40. 12 times 40, that is 400. 80. And this will be the value of N. So let us substitute this one to the given formula. R, that is 50, multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus J, that is 0 0.0075, raised to N, that is 480 minus 1, all over 0 0.0075. So let us add this one. Let us write 50. 1 plus 0 0.0075, that is 1.0075, raised to 480 minus 1, all over 0 0.0075. And then let us raise 1.0075 by 480. So let us write first 50. Then... 1.0075 raised to 480, that is 36.1099024, then minus 1, over 0 0.0075. So let us subtract this one. Let us write 50. So let's have 35.1099024. Over 0 0.0075. And then let's divide. So let's have 50. If you are going to divide this one, we are going to have 4,681.320273. And let's multiply by 50. That is 234,066.01. Or we can write our answer as 234,066.01. So this will be our final answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.